Dear students, today we are learning how to calculate the focal length of convex lens using our optical bench systems. So this is the ray diagram. We have this lens over here. This is the object needle, okay? And then this is the image. So the inverted image of this object is formed over here. Using a image needle, we'll calculate the position of the image. So this distance becomes object distance and this is image distance. So first of all, we'll set our lens in the optical bench system at the 50 centimeter. So position of the lens is always at 50 centimeter. And then we'll set the object distance over here and the image of this inverted, what is the image of this needle will be inverted seen over here and we'll set the this image needle at such positions when the image of that needle and this needle coincides and they move together and this is called as what parallax removing from tip to tip so this distance becomes object distance and this distance becomes what the image distance now before that how to find out the rough focal length so to find out the rough focal length okay we go and take some distant object and find out what the image formed on this screen and with the help of a scale with the help of a scale we can measure the with the help of a scale you can measure this particular distance and this distance becomes my rough focal length okay so now next what uh, we'll see how to take the readings now let's understand how to take the reading first we'll keep the lens at 50 centimeter over here in the optical bench system so over here scaling is given and I'll set the position of object between focus and the, the 2f distance over here. Roughly, let's keep this is at 25 centimeter. And when I'll view it from this other side, I'll get the inverted image of that needle. Okay. So using this image needle, we'll calculate what the image distance for that needle. So when I position this image a needle and we'll see the inverted image both should be falling on the head of each other and both should move together so let's i'll just focus that particular point when you obtain this so see right now i am able to get this particular position where the image of that needle is coinciding over here and these two are moving together to each other so this distance becomes my the object distance and this distance becomes what the image distance so this is kept at 25 centimeter this is kept at 50 centimeter so the distance is object distance becomes my 25 centimeter and this is my the image distance we'll take the readings i mean we'll repeat the readings moving this object slightly closer and when this object comes closer, your image distance will move a little bit far. So once again, we'll calculate what when the object and image coincides. So this way, we'll take three readings and then we can invert the readings because we can do that because the lens and mirror follow principle of what reversibility. So we'll take the three readings and invert the readings. Yeah. Now, after taking the readings, Let's see how to calculate the focal length using UV graph and the 1 by U and 1 by V graph. Okay, so this is my 1 by U and 1 by V graph. So over here, the graph is plot in second quadrant because U is negative for the lens and V is positive. Similarly, 1 by U and 1 by V is also uh, plotted in second quadrant. So the care should be taken over here when plotting the graph that these two should have the same scale and the same value should be taken over here. For, for example, 2, 4 and then it should be taken same way 2, 4 over here. The same way over here 0 0.02, 0 0.04 and 0 0.02, 0 0.04 on the same, same values on the x-axis and the y-axis. So the graph over here when we plot it gives me a rectangular hyperbola and when I draw a what is say a line with the at an angle 45 degree the intercepting point gives me value 2f and 2f and from this you can calculate the focal length 
similarly when i plot a graph of 1 by u and 1 by v graph the graph gives me a straight line with the intercept over here the intercept should be same on the both side it should be x so using the f equal to 1 by x you can calculate the focal length of the lens